A popular singer everyone knows is KK, but who knows he is Krishna Kumar Kunath. And yes, he is dead at the age of 53. Unforgettably, he sang hundreds of songs over his career since 1990s. He collapsed at his hotel in Kolkata city and was rushed to a hospital. Their doctors pronounced him dead. However, the cause of his death hasn't been confirmed yet. On Wednesday morning, North KK attended on Indian Twitter as fans and colleagues, registered their shock and disbelief at the news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi led the tribute, tweeting his grief at the singer's untimely de demise. His songs reflect a wide range of emotions and struck a chord with people of all groups. We will always remember him through his songs, Mr. Modi said. Keke's death two days after the murder of Kanjabi Rapa Sidhu Musakwala came as a double blow to music lovers in India this week. KK was born in Delhi in 1968. He began his career singing advertising singles. He sang more than 3,500 of them even before getting his big break in film music. He went on to perform in several Indian languages, including Tamil, Telugu and Kannada. But it was his work in the Hindi music industry that made him the voice of a generation. Bollywood singer KK performs at Anubund, the annual cultural fest of Guru Govind Singh, Indra Prosha University on February 10, 2018 in New Delhi, in India. He made his Bollywood debut as one of the four singers in the powerful chord Aye Hum Vod Gaye, who left behind those streets. On the comradeship between two young men on a rebellious journey in the 1996 movie Marshes, which was set against the backdrop of the insurgency in Punjab. Friendship and the bittersweet weights of nostalgia were recurring them themes in KK's songs. This was perhaps best captured in the soulful palm moment and ear on friends, the lyrics along with the velvety with fullness of his voice struck a chord with millennials coming of age in the late 1990s and early 2000s who would hum along to eat at parties and perform it at college festivals. KK was also the voice behind several iconic romantic songs, many of which were produced by music composer Pritham and duo Vashal Shekhar. His biggest hits included Tarab Tarab Ke Kude Jani, Tuhi Meri, Shab Hai, Kya Muzhe Pyar Hai, and Dosh Dosh Bahane. His ability to evoke anger, passion, and yearning that had been largely excluded from the vocabulary of folk songs solidified his position in the music industry, sparring a new genre of rock style music that featured slick sounds of the electric guitar and drums. Many of his colleagues from the Indian music industry remembered their association with him. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.